Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about fishing. Uh, a lot of you send me questions or leave comments on my YouTube channel um, asking me uh, what jigs to use, which bucktails, uh, what lures, anything like that. Um, I get a lot of questions about hooks, hook sizes, hook strengths. So um, today I want to talk a little bit about the jigs that I use. Um, I've been fishing for 50 years, I guess. Probably about 50 years, maybe a little bit longer. And on TV, I'm starting my 31st year. For about the last 15 seasons, 15 years, I've been pretty much fishing exclusively these jigs. I use uh, B-52 bucktails for when I need a bucktail. And these are deadly. This is probably the most versatile jig on the market or you can find in any tackle store. And these work great. I use them for everything from rockfish, calico bass, link cod, yellowtail, white sea bass, halibut. Um, they catch everything. I've even caught tuna on these. Um, because we started catching such big fish on the bucktails, a couple years ago we came out with a brand new HD model. It's still a B-52 bucktail, but we call it HD heavy duty because of the big mustad hook. dot hook and it won't open up. You hook a 60 pound white sea bass, a 50 pound halibut, you don't have to worry about the hook opening on you. With this lure and that monster hook, you'll be fine. You'll get that fish right in there. Um, and then you asked me about metal jigs. You guys see me fish a lot with metal jigs. Um, people are always asking me, what brand do I like to use? A lot of the brands out there are good. They've been around a long, long time. And I'm not going to say anything bad about any of them. But the metal jigs that I use are the Magic Metals. And these work out really nice. They have a real nice thin profile. So they dart back to you really fast when you're working them. And I normally use these for tuna fishing. Yellowtail fishing, bonita, um, and I use them a lot for rock fishing. The bigger ones, are eight, ten ounces, I fish them a lot in the glow in the dark, and they're deadly on lingcod and the big rock fish. That work out really good. But I have caught a lot of tuna and yellowtail using the magic metal jigs, um, just working right on the surface. Let them sink a little bit, about five, ten seconds. Grind them back as fast as you can. They work out really good. I use these at Colinette. Uh, two years ago I caught the largest yellowtail on the boat on the Chief on one of these jigs and uh, just swimming it up yo-yo style worked out really good. And then when the fish are on the surface, you know, you see the barracuda uh, flipping over on the surface or calico bass flipping on the surface. The light jig I like to use is this one. This is a, a magic metal light called the MM2. It works really, really good. And uh, we designed these so that they're lighter than the normal jigs you find in the stores. So if all you have is a spinning rod, you can throw one of these. Even a spinning rod with 20 pound tests, you can throw a small one like this. You might want to have 30 pound tests or 25 pound tests on an MM7, a bigger one, because you're going to catch bigger fish on it. And these swim nice and slow right on the surface. Barracuda can't resist them. Calicos can't resist them. I'm going to be taking a bunch of these with me when I go to Cedros this year and I see if I can get me a nice 8 or 10 pound calico on one of these. Now, these are the jigs that you see me fish. And I know lots of you have questions on how to work them, how to use them. But right here on my YouTube channel, there's hundreds, well there's over a thousand videos. But there are hundreds of videos there to show you how to's, how to use these lures, how to catch a tuna, how to catch calico bass, how to, you know, focus in on catching a nice link cod. Those videos are right here on my YouTube channel. All you have to do is search right here and you'll find them. And, um, you know, and you'll be set. And there's nothing like experience, you know. The reason I catch so many fish is I spend a lot of time on the water. And I, and because of that, I was spending so much time just going fishing for the TV show and for fun. That's why I went and got my skipper's license. And for the past five, six years now, I've been doing private charters. And I just got a newer boat last year, a Tierra, 31 foot Tierra. And I do private charters for only four people. So if you want to come out and learn how to fish a bucktail, you know, um, book a private charter with me. Um, during the season, I will do open party trips. So you don't have to charter the whole boat of four people. You can just buy one spot and come out and join me. Uh, last year we did really good on the yellowtail 
And I think once the weather settles down here in Southern California, that weather is going to get back to normal. It's going to warm up the water. There's lots of yellowtail already around. And I think that fishing is going to get really good here soon. And I think we have another great summer. So to answer your questions on what jigs I use, when I need a bucktail, it's going to be a B-52 bucktail, either the normal one or the HD. When I need a jig to throw or to yo-yo to chase tuna yellowtail, it's going to be a magic metal and it's going to be probably a three and three eighths or four and a half. If I'm going to be targeting Bonita or Calicos, I'm going to go with the smaller ones, the one ounces, the two ounces, those work out good. And if I'm fishing for rockfish in deeper water, trying to get a big lean cod or big red, I'll be fishing a magic metal with um, eight or 10 ounce sizes. Those work out really nice. Usually the glow in the dark. And if I'm out there and I'm fishing the horseshoe or Catalina and I see um, Barracuda flipping on the surface, this is a jig you're going to be watching me throw. This is the Magic Metal Light. It works really, really good. It's, it's designed, it's got rattles in it, weights in it, so it just kicks the right way. And we worked on a long time to make these just perfect and they work out really good. If you have Barracuda right up on the surface, these are going to catch them. I would probably use the MM7, the bigger model than this one, because it's going to cast out a little bit farther and it has a great action and it's a big bait. I know to a lot of you these look like big baits, but when you're catching 10 pound fish or 20 pound fish, they're just like a french fry to these fish. Fish attack them, they work really, really good. And again, if you need more information how to fish these lures, just look right here on my YouTube channel and you'll find them. If you can't find these jigs in your local tackle stores, because a lot of stores don't carry them, um, you can look on my website at sport-fishing.com and we have a section there, our online store. Look for lures and jigs and uh, terminal tackle. We have all that stuff there. Suggested tackle that you pick up when you go fishing and um, you can find these. And I'll put some links down below, right below this video to help you find them too. All right, I hope that helps out. If you have other topics you want me to talk about, just leave them down below or email me and I'll do those for you too. Thanks guys. Thanks for all your support over the years. Thanks for watching this video. I'll talk to you soon.